one of the more important things I still need to do for the plumbing is find a path where I can take a tube and go from the drain of the sink down through the bottom of the van and out so that when I turn on the faucets, uh, the water drains out of the van. So I'm going to go get under the van and see if I can find a hole that connects through up to here. I ran and grabbed a towel because it's kind of hot today and I don't feel like getting burned by the asphalt. So let's slide under here and see what I can see. Okay, it is a very tight fit down here to fit both my head and this camera, so I'm gonna do the best I can. But I am right next to the wheel well. So right above me basically is where that sink countertop area is. I'm guessing one of these holes, or both, go into the body of the van, and if I feed some of that ID tubing up it, it'll be visible up there and I can grab it. But I'm really not sure, because there's a lot of holes around here. Like, there's these, but I think this is just like the frame of the van. I don't think this actually leads up into it. I think these lead up into it. So I'm probably gonna use one of those ones. Cause I think these are all just the metal framing that supports down here. And aside from these, I don't see anything else that looks like it could be a possibility. So I'm just gonna try that, feed some ID tubing up and see if I can see it. And if I can't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out. But that's what I'm gonna try. All right, let's try this. This barely fits through this hole. If I go straight back, uh, it actually goes back a lot farther than I thought it would. But it gets stuck. So I'm gonna try angling this up like that. Get it in a little bit. So that's pretty far in. Uh, I'm just gonna go up top and see if I can see it. And if not, I'll come down here and I don't know, fiddle with it some more and just hope I can figure it out eventually. So if that were going to work, I would see that tubing like down there somewhere. But I don't even see any holes there that would lead down below. There's like that weird foam right there covering up something. But I don't feel like trying to peel all that back to see if there's a hole there. I think I'd rather just look elsewhere around the van to see if there's a better place. And I'm thinking maybe down here, this area. I feel like there's kind of holes you can see there that go down. Ugh, it's really hard to get the camera angle. But let me show you this real quick. Okay. Watch your head. So if I come down here, uh, on the other side of the wheel, See these little like uh, tabs that are covering these holes? I can push that in just a little bit. There's also these. Oh god, it's really hard to... These like little tabs that I can push in here. There's one down here that's actually circular too. But I'm thinking, maybe if I punch this out, if I punch that out, maybe that feeds right up into that little area I was just showing. I have no idea if it does, but I'm thinking that's my best bet. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, let's try taking this off. Oh, that just pops out like that. What do I see in there? Oh, cool, absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try going up, feeding the tube down, and see if I can see it here. I don't know. I said I'm just gonna try. So this one is a big flop. I'm gonna try this one, because there's a metal thing right here blocking it, so it looks like this is a different, like, channel or something. This just pops right in there. I think this just pulls out. Yep. Ooh. That is very promising. Look at this. Oh god, I can't see anything. Okay, look at that. See how deep that goes? I think that goes all the way up. So I'm gonna try feeding tube through this and see if I can grab it up above. Go up. Go up. 
So I don't see the tube up there if I look down. Uh, I can see rays of light up there though, so there's clearly something shining. Uh, I can even see if I angle myself right holes that look like they go straight into the body of the truck. Do you see that hole right there? I'm pretty sure I see that hole when I'm up there. So I'm gonna try feeding it up there, down, and try to pull it when it's down here. That's what I'm gonna try. So I feel like that right there is the hole that I'm seeing down there. So I'm gonna try feeding the tube down there and see if I can grab it once I'm under the van. Okay, moment of truth. Get the camera down here and it should be pretty obvious immediately. There it is, right here. Very nice. Okay, so now I can take this uh, and leave it here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna figure out the rest of the plumbing now because now I, now I have this figured out. I was, I was getting worried because the things I was thinking would work didn't work, but we got it now. So now I'm gonna move forward with uh, the other things I need to do for the plumbing. a lot of dust. It's a lot of tape. I think this looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice. What I need to do now is pull out the center countertop area I have in the van in order to cut the hole for the sink into this. So I think I'm gonna go grab that piece out of the van right now. the corner back there sunk in and you can see right down here how much more I need to cut off to get that to fit in there probably about a quarter of an inch on both the sides I think but I'm gonna trim this more so that that will sit inside and after that I think we're good to go Okay, so I have this hole cut out to the size I think I need. Time to see if this fits all right. Try to get this corner in. Like so. Let's try to see how well I did. Put that right against there. That's right around three inches. And over here, also right around three inches. I think they're slightly off, but I think it's straight enough. Time to see if this fits well in the van. If I cut this right, this hole that this is sitting in should line up with the hole that's already cut into the plywood that I have in there. So I'm going to go try to fit this on top of it. Oh, please God, tell me I did this right. So when I cut this, I cut it in a way where the countertop sitting under this is 70 inches long and 19 inches deep. So I cut it so that this was 19 and a half inches deep, the actual black countertop, and 71 inches long. That way I'd have like around half an inch of overhang on each of the sides. Not this side back here, but this side and those two. Because I figure when I put up boards here to make the actual face, I want them coming up and being flush along here like this. I don't want them going up next to this as well. I want them touching under. Uh, I think that will look a lot better. So I left a little overhang on each side. 
Uh, plus, just leaving a little overhang leaves room for air because I could always just trim off a little bit more of this if I needed to, but I don't think I will. This isn't perfectly flat. There's points where it's like lifting, namely this corner back here. But I'm thinking once I'm ready to actually screw this down, I can kind of clamp it down. It'll probably flex a little bit and I can get it screwed in exactly how I want. Uh, there's definitely things to do with this. I'm thinking under the plywood, like down here, so under the countertop, under the plywood, under the countertop, I might want to put some 2x4s or 1x4s going like this to support the weight because these are kind of bowing a little bit, they're caving in, so I think that would help. But I'm very happy with this. Let me try putting this in there. Very happy with this. I think what I'm going to do is peel off this film that's on this because I, I, I don't want to like cock this and screw it down and stuff with this film still on it because then I won't be able to peel off the film that's under this. I'm probably going to do that. Start working on putting in the faucet and everything into this because I have the faucet for this and uh, get this more secured and finished up.